Next, we're going to look at Agile. So Agile is a very different type of process. It is adaptive. The very idea of Agile development is that the processes and the product are expected to change as a result of feedback. And it is collaborative. The idea is that you have a group of individuals coming together to produce an outcome and that they are going to talk and they are going to change things as they go and they are going to optimise, they are empowered to ask questions, they are empowered to try and do things better. Um, so it is a very different type of project, they're not just there to do a very narrowly defined task. If they can think of a way that uh, the thing they're doing now is going to affect something two, two pieces of the process down the road, they're empowered to actually say, hey, this is like, uh, I've got a worry or I've got a concern that needs to be addressed. What is Agile good for? So Agile allows you to pivot around issues. So the, uh, the example of a, um, a competitor entering the market. Under Agile, you will typically be doing <coughs> frequent re uh, releases of smaller parts of your, uh, smaller parts of your software. Um, it actually allows you to uh, make a change. If you put something out and it doesn't get much take up, you know that you can actually make a change and potentially reinvent the entire product. As um, the example with Email Samurai becoming Content Samurai, um, we thought it was going to go one way, but we built it in a, an agile fashion, and so the end result was drastically different from what we uh, envisaged originally. It increases your speed to market. Part of it is th that desire for feedback. It actually looks at how you constrain and narrow the scope of your project to produce something that can go into the market and actually start to get real feedback. If someone will buy your stuff or buy a subset of your stuff, think of how nuts they're going to go for the whole product. It spreads your revenue more evenly across the project, but it spreads it in such a way that you can walk away at any time. You're running through your process iteratively, so you're continuing to come back over it. Um, and so every time you do a delivery, you're at a spot where you've got some value delivered into the market, but if you chose to, you could walk away then. You have got more value there than you would have if you hadn't done that, um, that release. Um, so you, you've made a net benefit, but at the same time, you've conserved the other 90% of your budget and you could, you could walk away then. Maybe it was a failed experiment, but you've only spent 10% of your money. And it's highly visible when it comes to processes and outcomes. So typically speaking, and I'll come to this when I um, touch on Kanban, uh, it will make sure that people are aware of everything that's occurring. You'll, you'll know what the status of things is. You'll understand where people are engaged in the process and um, it, it visualises things very, very nicely. Downsides to Agile, however. Agile requires, much more so than Waterfall, active engagement from all members and that particularly um, has a focus on, uh, when it comes to software development, clients. In an Agile project versus a Waterfall one, Agile, uh, I speak with Tanya once a day to work on uh, uh, the Tipsy product and that is something we need to remain actively engaged and sometimes that can be really, really difficult from the client side, like having someone available to answer questions and have that feedback loop, um, that can be a reasonable overhead, so that is a downside. Flexibility can lead to a misalignment of ideas and miscommunication. If you've got a lot of change going on and the team members are not good at coping with change, then you can end up with different people on different pages, not actually understanding how, how the process is supposed to work. You get errors that way, like you end up with people thinking they've done the right thing, ending up not being the case. And the continuous nature of development can feel like progress isn't being made. You're doing all of these small deliveries and so sometimes you can feel like we've been going for ages but my, my full vision hasn't been realised. And you can, you can end up feeling negatively about the project just because you haven't had that big bang that you were hoping for at the end. <laughs>